In this video specifically, you're going to see an overview. There will be segments that have no audio, but it is an overview of how I provided insight and feedback and the different steps I took to track and document and prepare the dispute template, including what was said to prepare the individual who I was supporting at the time of this interaction with handling a $20,000 refund request. So here in this section, you see me going into Google Drive and creating a folder. And this is exactly what you would ideally do. You would have a folder that is specific to that client. It would have their name, the start date, trajectory, time frame, And then there would also likely be a folder that you would have already created in advance with assets or the client log or documentation of that client's contract. After having context for what the situation was and what was said back and forth between the individual who is requesting the $20,000 refund and also the replies that had already been given and how the sentiment was going downhill and not managed very well, I created a response with some expectations of what to anticipate. Most of this copy and text that you see here that I am typing, you will have access to a template of that same phrasing and language, but without the individual's name or some of the aspects that are relevant to the way that this provider gives deliverables and coaching services. So using the template for yourself, you're more than welcome to download that, upload it to Google Drive as a Google Doc, and then modify it for your own needs. Here you see me looking for the contract itself, and then going based off of that contract specifically in order to articulate some of the language without any reactivity, just what is being shown in writing that the individual, the client who was requesting a refund and is potentially going to turn into a dispute, what they signed or agreed to. A good portion of all of this text available to you it's available in the template associated with this training. I'm not a fan of refunds. Of course, there would be no need for this course if I were a big fan of refunds. With that said, if you are a person who does happen to have some sort of refund policy or expectations or stipulations around refunds, then my recommendation to you would be to do it based off of the actual implementation and time frame or trajectory of services or deliverables or the contract work or the project. The most important element is to prioritize the relationship in this experience. And so it's a tricky thing. You can't control how somebody else is going to respond. You can only control your own demeanor, the words that you use, the language. So it's important that just as what is shown in the client briefcase, there are words that work and phrases that are going to be used in order to try and get back on the same page. You still want to come from a place of ethics, but at the end of the day, you are not a charity, you are a business.